I, I set up my other mic. All right, uh, I had just fine from Bella, so we, 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 we got to get right, y'all. It's perfect on my side. All right, it's cool. That's good enough for me, man. I'm biased, man. What up, what up, what up? Baltimore, I see you. All right. All right, cool. I thought it was suiting to wear the crown. You know what I'm saying? So I thought it I thought it made sense to wear the crown right now. All right. All right. Let's get right into it. So watch the throne. Let's talk about it. All right. So, you know, in part one, we were just going over the card and just to go over the agenda. Just to go over the agenda, we're going to go through the card. We're going to see my opinions of the battles, my predictions. And then at the end, we'll discuss why am I not on the card? Because, again, I will say I have received an overwhelming amount of responses and people asking me, why haven't you been on watching? Why you're not on Watch the Throne? Why haven't? Why wasn't you on Kings versus Queens? And I just feel like I'll, ad I'll address it on the channel just so we all have a good idea of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, yes. Thank you. Finish off Bonnie. That's where we were. So, Bonnie versus Cassie, uh, Casey J. Yo, I can't get that the girl name right for shit. Uh, it's, it's, it's Casey J. I was calling Cassie. She, her name about to just be Cassie. So, shout out to Cassie J. Um, <clears throat> right? So boom, I don't understand why they keep booking Bonnie. Long story short, uh, she's on the card. I think Miss J is going to 3-0 her, done. All right. And just a small note, right? Um, King of the Dot, shout out to King of the Dot, you know what I mean, whatever they doing. But I was watching Lush when he was talking and it was like, yo, how did you come up with who you wanted for the battles. Like, how did you pick the people? And it was like, yo, it was like a panel. Um, like, you know, they thought it out real. They, they thought it out very particularly. And they felt like they booked the best players. I disagree with that because you only got two females on there. And one of them is Bonnie. The fuck are you doing? Now, now I'm off that. Um, the next battle, Yoshi versus Tori Do. Now, the last time we seen Tori Do, she battled chess and got smoked, right? That sucks, right? So I'm hoping to see a way better performance than we did last time because she, she got smoked, she choked. I don't even think she finished the round. It just seemed like. And she was she took a hiatus before that. So it's like her comeback battle was not satisfying. You know what I mean? But I know in the past, Tori Doe has been known to put in work. People like her style. She from Harlem. Blase, blase. A lot of people like Tori. So I'm glad to see her back in action to show us what she can do. You know what I mean? It's time for you and Bonnie to have that conversation for real. What conversation? I don't understand. Me and Bonnie don't have to have any conversations. At the end of the day, again, I have no malice with the chick. She just be mad at me for some reason all the time. I don't know why. It could be that I'm beautiful. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, when it comes to, a like, who I think is going to win that, if Tori comes on her shit, then Tori is definitely going to win 3-0. But if she come choking and not in her bag, then y'all might get one up on her. The bad thing I would say is that I have never watched a Yoshi battle. I only know Yoshi for her being wild crazy on social media, talking about sucking dick and shit. It's no disrespect. This is what Shorty puts out there. You know what I mean? And she's fucking famous for it. Like, she takes pride in being a thought. And I don't know if that's the best approach, but hey, it's working for her. Um, I don't necessarily agree with it when it comes to like female hip hop and shit. 
Like, I really feel like we should be respected for our craft and the work we put in. But at the end of the day, I feel like whatever. You you want to be out there and putting it out there like that? Cool. It's on you, sis. I love you too, man. AJ, love you, Augie. Love. Um, them shoes back there. Yeah, man. The shit, the shit continues too. Like, you know, you know, I love my my collection, my feats. And I'm also gonna have a segment called Fire Feats Friday. Stay tuned for that. Right? So it say, all right, let me let me look at some comments before we get. I think Tori though. I think Tori got it, but Yoshi been doing good. Okay, okay, okay. Stunner, I appreciate you agreeing with the beauty. Um, like in the crown, thank you very much. Yo, man, I, I want to shout out Shorty's Instagram, but I can't find it right now. But the girl who makes these, after the live is over, I'm going to put the link in my bio, so y'all can check out her crowns, man. She, she's so dope. She hit me up. She delivered it to me personally. Mad fire. Get one. They got different colors and all that. She customizes them. Uh, she knew I was the king. She bring, bring me down one of them, you know? All right. Let's keep, uh, you got to promo your channel more. I agree, man. I agree. Uh, uh, I'm trying to work slowly but surely um, because I don't know if you all know, but I am also taking my talents to caffeine. So I will be streaming live on caffeine every Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm going to have my show there as well. So if you want to catch like my dumb advice live, you would go see it on caffeine, the YouTube channel popping, everything caffeine you will eventually, eventually see on YouTube. But, um, you see how we just having random chins? That will all still be um, on YouTube as well. So just if you have caffeine, follow me on caffeine and, and stay tuned. All right, AJ Johnson, I need like, another classic from you. Well put, man. Ain't that wifey shoes? <laughs> wifey also has her own collection with the red bottoms and shit. That's on her side. So it's my side and her side. She want to be like daddy. I see you, ma. All right? Um, hey, yo, real talk. Your penny's elite. Salute to you. you been, salute to you. You've been, uh, been a fan of yours for years. Thank you so much, Blue Robinson. I appreciate that. All right? All right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, when it comes to predicting, Tori, though, will get it if Tori is on her shit. Now, Yoshi, I think, has a little more, more momentum because she's been around. She's in the loop. People are looking for her. She just battled Bill Collector. And I don't even know if she won or lost, but all I know is grabbed his eggplant and then got on her knees to make it seem like she was going to suck his eggplant. That's crazy. Shock value. And if she keeps doing shit like that, she's always going to get the guy vote. And as we know, battle rap is a male-dominated sport, so she would be relevant as long as she keeps grabbing the eggplants. All right? All right. Somebody says she got good boss fit. They just relate back to sex. Cool. I got to check it out. So I'm, never, I'm not going to say she trash because I can't say that. I got to watch her battles. You know, and really in a lot of shit and check it out. But she, but love to her, man, because uh, she never came here on no stupid shit. Uh, she never disrespected me. So, you know, Yoshi's good in my book. Right? Next, we got First Lady Flames versus Vixen the Assassin. The first thing I think about when I see that matchup is Vixen booked this battle before she beat DNA. Because there's no way in fucking hell are you going to 3-0 DNA on the app and then come back to battle Lady Flames. No disrespect to Lady Flames, but DNA, Lady Flames. DNA, like, you don't battle. Like, this is the shit, right? This is the shit. And I feel like this is where the new girls need game. And the crazy shit is, Vixen is not new. She's been, she's been rapping for a minute. So... I feel like this is where they need a little guidance. 
I would never book a battle ahead of a performance that I'm going to do. The only reason why I wouldn't do that is the exact same reason. Vixen's stock increased dramatically when she battled DNA. She could have easily got anybody she wanted after. Shit, she had me debating on battling the bitch. She called me out and I sat and was like, yo, wifey, what you think? When, when you get to a point where I'm asking my girl, should I take the battle? That means I'm thinking about it. You understand? So, you know, she called out on the dawn. She could have had elite battles right after. But now let's let's just let's just talk hypothetically. Say Lady Flames comes and smokes her. Not that I think that will happen. But let's just say, you never know, man. Every dog has his day. What if Lady Flames comes, smokes her? And now her, her stock dropped crazy because she wanted to just take a random ass battle just to be on the car. Not using the noodle pool. Not using the noodle. That, that's all I'm going to say. I don't think that was the best, the best thing. But I did see Lady Flames battle coffee. And I think she did a great job. When she battled coffee, she did a great job. But Kofi wasn't rapping like the way Vixen was rapping versus DNA. Now, if that Vixen shows up, it's going to be nasty for Lady Flames. And then Vixen will get another win on her belt. And then, you know, whatever. It is what it is. That's going to be a throwaway battle for her. It's not like a fear making battle. It is what it is. Misfit. You too ball heavy for these beer. I'm gonna just say bitches, and you said broad because I like I've been saying bitches. Uh, but yeah, I think Vixen is gonna get that three up. The least two one. The least, least. All right, all right, boom. Off that. We got Miss Hustle versus Lady Love. I just want to get that little that battle a round of applause for a couple reasons. Lady Luck is a star, my God. You know what I mean? I feel like Lady Luck had one of the first female infamous battles versus Remy Ma. And not on not on top of that, her music is dope. She's been putting in work. She's been a staple, like really in female hip hop in general. You know what I mean? Not just battle rap. And I really think she got a good heart and a good soul. You know what I mean? I never got negative energy from Lady Luck. She's always sent me blessings and saluted my efforts. She's, you know, she's always been on a great energy level with me. And I respect that so much, especially within the battle rap community. Because real shit, bitches be hating, though. Like, I don't understand it, but they do, man. I feel like I approach every female in this game respectfully and genuine. Like, I will even salute to them. Like, I will help them out. You know what's crazy? It's like official. She she lost somebody in her life and somebody passed. And, you know, here I am. I'm like, yo, sis, I, 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 I could only imagine what you're going through. You understand? And I feel like I reached out to her like, yo, if you need money, whatever, I got you. You know, I know we be arguing back and forth over this battle rip shit, but I, I got you. And the first minute she get to come at me and throw my name in the dirt, she do it. See, that's what girls in battle rap is like. I'm just not like that. I'm not. Any, ask anybody who know me one-on-one -on -one and fuck with me. No, I'm mad genuine. I'm cool as hell. I don't be a with the rah-rah shit unless they bring that shit out of me. Because I'm telling you, I'm changed. I'm rehabilitated. But then it be shit that irked me that be making me want to slap somebody. Stop trying to take me back there. I've changed. Stop taking me back. There. It's crazy. But whatever. Next. Um, that's why I love Lady Luck. I think she's a beautiful person. And she is a staple in female hip hop in general. All right. Miss Hustle. Miss Hustle has always been the first lady at URL. 
She was one of the first females on URL. Uh, also, great music ability. She can write. She got, she got a nice pen. And that's what I respect the most about females. If you can lay down fire tracks, you fire in my book. Because I personally think it's easy to write battle bars or gun bars or whatever because it's just, it's no structure. It's no content. It's no, no order. You don't, literally, all you have to do to write a battle is fucking make fun of somebody in a witty way. Or, you know, when you're bar heavy, not to say making bars is easy because it's not, but if you're making dope bars, then it's hard. But I would say there's a small percentage of females that are like, and, you know, fortunately, we have been seeing them more, right? So the girls that are good are getting the shine, which is great. So salute, 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 salute. Miss Hustle versus Lady Luck. Now, when it comes to predictions, I don't know, man. I know Miss Hustle always brings her A game when she battles. You know what I mean? I never seen Hustle like choke or anything. I could be wrong, but I never seen her half ass it. I know I battled her, she lost, but she gave me a good fight. She came for me, she was coming for my Kofi. Um, but I like Hustle. Lady Luck, we don't have, well, I don't have a lot to go off of in her battles to kind of judge how she's gonna look versus Miss Hustle. You feel me? She battled official a minute ago, and I honestly don't think it was her best performance. You know, I thought she could do a lot better. Um, but, you know, I feel like she knows that. You know, I feel like she was like, I, right, this is where I could do better at and shit. And I think she's going to do that. But the battle was like, you know, not not what I expected because I believe it was like the first time we saw her and, you know, we was all excited, you know what I mean? But, you know, I think she could have did better. So I think in this battle, she definitely got that to prove, like, yo, that wasn't my best of my abilities. I'm going to come in and, I, and I'm going to smoke something. But I might have hustled 2-1, might have hustled 2-1. Um, but for me, I feel like I'm winning just to see it. Like, I just want to see it. I just want to see them go at it. All right, last but not least, 40 bars versus official. 40 bars pen. I've been super impressed with it lately. Ever since she battled Miss Hustle and I was in the building, I kind of respected 40 bars a lot more than I did in the past, right? Um, I always knew she had bars, but I always felt like, you know, maybe her delivery needed some help, shit like that. Uh, but I like what she's doing. I like what she's doing. She did a good job versus Miss Hustle. She did a great job versus Surf, I think. She got surfed the fuck out of there. She did. So you got to pass this on the back. She got surfed the fuck out of there. Um, yeah, man. What, what y'all think? Let me let me tune into the chat real quick because I don't, I don't want to miss much. I want to stay in tune with y'all, but I, I want to make sure I'm giving love to the chat, man. Word, yo, send some donations to the chat, too. Um, like I said, all this equipment costs, cameras, mics. I just bought a new mic because I was having this issue yesterday. Um, bought the shit same day. It should be here soon. Uh, yeah, all this shit. I've been spending so much fucking bread. I'm happy to though, cause I feel like all of this shit, it just it's just making sense for me. You know, it just feels good. Like talking to the people, connecting with to the to the fans on a one on one level, it feels good. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, on the map. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, Lady Luck 2-1, Miss Hustle 2-1. Uh, I feel crazy. You know when you want to just scratch it, you can't? All right, Luck beat Remy Ma in a battle, if I'm not mistaken. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah, Remy won. I mean, um, Lady Luck won. Um, actually, it was a judge battle, and they gave it to Remy, but they cheated Luck on that. And they had a rematch, and then they gave it to Remy again. I think that just had a lot to do with Remy being signed to Terror Squad at the time. So she got the popular vote, you feel me? But my, nah, man, that battle was infamous. And like I said, Lady Luck is a staple. She's one of the first female battles I ever watched. I'll never forget the bar that kind of took me over. That was the first time like I'm, I'm seeing two shorties other than myself that's going crazy. She said some shit. The bar basically was like, I'll you know, throw Remy in the ocean and have Remy on the rocks. Like, it wasn't exactly like that, but the bar that hit was Remy on the rocks. And I feel like dudes be spitting bars like that, like against Nitty, like, oh, like, rum on the rocks, shit like that. Luck was the first one to do that shit. Let it be known. Let it be known. Luck was the first one to have a ball like that. Yo, son, where you get them sneaker cases from? Um, On Amazon, you could get them from mad different places, to be honest. You just got to find out which one, which look you like. Um, and also, the uh, I don't want to promote it. Like, they not pay me, but um, you could get it from, like, the container store or whatever. Uh, hustle about the walk through luck. Luck 2-1. What else, we, what else we got? What else we got? Luck sounded like 40 cal. They did it. Got to improve that. Okay. Like the brotherhood was hating on Mo. Yeah, I feel like that's how they be doing me. I be Mook. I be Mook. And then it be like little gangs of female battle rappers that be mad at me for some reason. I don't know if they, it be like, am I overly cocky? Like, I don't know. It's just my aura. I'm, I feel like I make bitches uncomfortable. I don't know why. Though. I don't know why I'm mad nice. I be like, yo, what's up, sis? You, look, you good? I don't know. I don't know. But then when I don't like them no more, it's more like, What up? You good? You good? We straight? Problems? You, f you feel away? Nah? Then I ain't that. We good. Holla at you. Feel me? It changed. The energy changed. All right. The Lady Luck versus Remy battles are the reason I watch battle rap. Fire. Salute to that. Big them up. Lady Luck is beautiful. Yes, this is beautiful. In and out. Give me your crown. Chill, my chill. This the crown. Gotta hold it down. Gotta hold it down. Hustle body bag. 3-0. Okay. Nice crown. Thank you. Appreciate that. Harlem Street. Peace. You definitely not a hater. Your character is why we subscribe. Thank you, Tommy Mac. I appreciate you. R.I.P. Farrah. Give thanks. All right? Slap him, fit. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Rio Hustle. Fit, did you vote? Yes, I did vote. Got my stick and all that. Got my stick in the hole at. All right, Rock already said he lost first round. There's no way he won. Miss Fitcher got Ted. King in the building. You got a fish, you. Right, so. Um. So who do you think got that? Official? Oh, yeah. So we was talking about, my bad. I got off track. We was talking about official versus 40 bars. Like, I was talking about 40 bars, and I was like, yo, 40 bars fire. Bomb. Official is dope when it comes to gum bars and a ch chalaka boom. So here's the thing. If official 
does that all three rounds, she's going to lose. Why? Because 40 can structure her bars. She can angle you. And she got bars. And, and she got haymakers. So if a fish was just going to come shoot up the place, she going to lose. And if she don't get her breath right from the last battle I saw, yo, shorty looked like she was going to fucking die. Like on the spot. Like, <gasps> asthma pump. Oh, somebody make sure she practice her breathing. Here's the problem. Most of the time when people practice their bars, they practice and they're like, you know, and they think that's going to be okay. No, that doesn't work. When you practice your bars, you got to spit that shit the same way you spit it so you can practice your breathing. Like what bar should you take a breath? Where should you Release, exhale, inhale. You got to get your shit together. You know what I mean? Get your shit together. But who knows? Like I said, caffeine, that whole feeling might be different. I might be up there and can't breathe. I can't tell you the experience. So I'm not going to completely count out and shit on it like, oh, you suck. But I haven't experienced it yet. So who knows? But that's an observation. That's a, It's just an observation. It's just what I saw. You couldn't breathe, sis. You couldn't breathe. I don't know if it's the weight, the boobs. I don't know, but you you couldn't breathe. All right? Official overrated. You can tell by the way she carries herself. She she poor. She ain't got cash like that. I mean, yeah, we know she ain't got cash like that. But I mean, but you know, what about the boss? You can clearly see she ain't got it. When are you coming back, Fit? We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. It's safe to say 40 bars, has, 40 bars has got... Put sunglasses on. 40 bars. <laughs> Jazz is waiting to spank Fit now. Learn from us. Mm -mm -mm. That's a bad match for sure. I agree. I, I think it's a bad match for official. If she wins... Then you know she'll prove me wrong, but I think Forty Bars is gonna take that, right? and I'll be the first if I was wrong and she wins. I'll be the first one to blog and say, "Yo, I was wrong. I was wrong." All right, all right. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes, pulls. So after going over the whole card, shout out to Queen of the Ring. Shout out to Babs. Shout out to Devo, Debo, shout out to, shout out to Queen of the Ring, shout out to Bab, shout out to Debo, shout out to Vade, and uh, shout out to URL, the platform, for making this happen. Queen of the Ring has always been putting it down for the ladies, booking female battles. We appreciate you. We appreciate what you're doing. Now, everybody was asking me, why am I not on the card? It's a couple reasons why I'm not on the card, right? So let's get this out the way. I was called for the Kings versus Queens to battle Nitty. I was called for the Watch the Throne battle to battle Jazz the Rapper. And this is exactly how it went. So first and foremost, you know, I get a call from Bees. What up, Bees? You know, my guy, I got Bees. Um, dope dude, you know, especially, you know, when you get to talk to him one-on-one -on -one and hear his perspectives on things. I, I really appreciate the chat. Um, he said, yo, Fit, you want to battle Nitty on Kings versus Queens? Let's do it. I said, Nitty, that's dope. It's a dope battle. I'll fuck with it. All right, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll do the Nitty battle. He said, here's the thing, though. There's a battle right after. It's going to be the next month. And we want you to battle Jazz. Hmm. Now, at this point, I was already over battling Jazz. Because, you know, we spoke about it. I spoke, spoke about it on, on different platforms and shit. I was already over it. You know what I mean? I honestly feel like Shorty be feeling herself too much. And she's just not good enough to feel that way. You know what I mean? Um, I just feel like. 
official is better than Jazz. And I've already been that through that lane. And I just don't see like how she's dangerous for me. I never saw how she was dangerous for me. And that was the whole reason why I wanted to battle her. One, a lot of fans are asking for it. All the fans are asking for it. It's not somebody that they mention more than Jazz. Everybody, every time I'd be like, yo, who y'all want me to battle? They'd be like, Jazz, 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 Jazz. So how can I not be like, yo, I want to battle Jazz? That's what everyone fucking asks me for. I'm not trying to take a battle that they'd be like, yo, fit. We don't want to see this shit. I want to be entertaining. This is entertainment, ain't it? Right? <clears throat> Come on. All right? So, boom. So, Bees is like, look, do you want to do battles back to back? Or do you just want to choose one? So, I'm like, all right, cool. I already had a lot of obligations. You know what I mean? As far as... Uh, we had a lot of things booked for my expert opinion, uh, my dumb advice, and the new recent caffeine deal that I just was talking to you about earlier. So I had a lot going on on top of what I'm already doing. Um, so I was like, all right, I could only dedicate myself to one of those battles. Now, you know, of course, I went to my guys and shit, you know, people are, you know, wise counsel. You know, I spoke to Cole, I spoke to Math. You know, I spoke to the guys that I trust in this game. And they like, to be honest, you could battle Nitty, but um, obviously everybody been wanting you to battle Jazz. So just take the Jazz battle and it's going to be the headline battle and you're going to get the bigger bag. So it all makes sense, right? So, you know, I told Bees, I said, you know, look, if I don't take Nitty, how, you know, do y'all already have Jazz locked in? You know, and from what I understood, yeah, Jazz was, was locked in. Cool. So I passed up on the nitty battle. I said, you know what? I'm going to pass off on that. I'm going to prepare for jazz. And let's get it. Let's put it on for the fans. The Kings and Queens comes and goes. It's a great performance. We, I loved it. And then Bees hits me up. And basically it's like, well, you know, jazz is, you know, trying to go in a different direction now. So I'm like, what do you mean? It was, I was like, I thought we was doing this watch the throne because a lot of the, the whole time when the when people was preparing for Kings and Queens, he was like, look, we just waiting for a day to set up the, the promo for y'all to take pictures, do blogs, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Um, and I'm going to give y'all y'all deposits. So this is how they talking to me. Like, all right, cool. I'm going to send y'all the deposits. Like, this shit is in motion. Then he hits me up, says, basically, something happened where she don't want to do it. Don't know what, right? I don't know if she felt like, oh, if it is preparing for two battles, she got one up on me. I, I don't know. I don't know. But to my understanding, it was in play. Boom. So then, now I'm mad, right? Now I'm like, yo. I should have just battled Nitty. You know what I'm saying? I should have just battled Nitty. I should have just did that, got that out the way. Because now I'm probably going to be on Kings versus Queens part two and maybe battle Nitty. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just like, that's corny. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see what, what we took him over here. Um, so Slim D said Jazz get more time to write. I agree. She just did a blog saying how long it takes her to write. And it's crazy. Like, damn. Like, I've prepared for battles. Yeah. Ooh, Avatar. Um, yeah, I've prepared for battles in a month. Like, when I battled official, word to everything. I wrote my third round the day before. The day before I wrote my third round. You can ask anybody I was around. Like, like, what are we doing? And then, like, I can't help but, but like, see the feedback. And, you know, I watched that interview. I forgot who, who, who was he? Oh, Tony, bro, was interviewing her. And she was breaking down how she felt like I always been top tier, but she doesn't think the battle is good for her career. Now, let's, let's think about that for a second, right? When I battled Farrah Funeral and hit a million views, 
in like what? How, how fast did we get a meal? Six months. Six months? Not a female in history, in, in, in Queen of the Ring history, has hit a million views in six months. Come on. That's a peak. Like, I've hit my prime multiple times in this battle rap shit. Y'all need to start respecting my shit. You understand? Like, I've only battled the greatest females in this shit. You understand? I've battled Ehart. I've battled Shayna Ashley. I've battled Miss Hustle. I even battled Bonnie if you like the chick. Um, you know, where we else would have been at? You know what I mean? When Duchess was the hottest bitch and queen of the ring, I battled Duchess. I've been on grind time. You know what I'm saying? I, I, when I called you out and battled Farrah, I was at the top. I honestly believe with every part in my body that I revived female battle rap. Nothing was shaking or popping before that. And if y'all if y'all say it was, then y'all fucking lying. Nobody was getting it cooking. Nobody was checking for females. After that, everything was hitting. Everything was hitting. Like, I caught the biggest body of the year, man or female. The only one that gets close is John John when he threw Jack Boy's chain. And even that, I feel like my body was better. And they say, oh, well, I think a fisher even says she's the first person to make somebody forfeit. That's a lot. Made Farrah feel forfeit right on the spot. Yeah, that was before Summer Madness. Yes, it was. Not spending the third round. What's that? A forfeit. Come on. Like, y'all be wilding, man. It's crazy. So, like, when it comes to all that, ah, ah, oh, fit, it's not good for my career, that's bullshit. It's bullshit. I put in the most work. That and then like in that little area, Tom, bomb. I bust out battle Pharaoh, smoked her bulls. And cool, you can even say, you know what, what? You know what I mean? Pharaoh's not the best battler in the world. Cool. Battled official right after. Right after. I got a 2-1, if you ask me. It depends on what you like. I think that's a preference battle. If you like Gun bars all rounds, then cool. But I had angles, perspectives, struggle, uh, structure. It factors that that huge bar that shook the shook the entire. It shook the whole room. Like I literally felt my body shaking. Right? Come on. I just feel like you know that's the shit that'd be annoying. It's like yo. And then also in the blog. Hmm? Oh, yeah. And after official, I did a tour too. After official, I did a tour too with me and Core versus Kofi and Geechee Gotti. And if you ask me, that's the worst I've ever seen Geechee perform. If you ask me, I smoked his boots. I also bust my ass. Take that out. But you know what I mean? It's just like, yo, respect, respect the crown, B. Respect the crown. Respect the crown. You know what I mean? Let's see. Yep. As hell. Um let me see. NBA Live, NBA 2K. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Let me check your question. I think you should only battle dudes. You're too elite for these women. I got 43-0, Tory 3-0. Shout out to you. But no, that is my future situations. I do intend on battling men um, and men who are, are serious about, you know, battling a female and, and it's going to come with their best shit to kill me. That That's where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? So, if everybody, and yes, uh, Fish who did sound like twerk versus me, I, I agree 100%. 100%.
Cannon 973. Yo, King, they not messing with you. They wild scared. Sometimes I just have to agree with that. I didn't want to, like, reduce people to that, like, you're scared. Because she's battled good people. But, I mean, it might be right. It might be. Now, here we are. So if everybody's asking me, yo, misfit, why they not booking you? Why are you not on these cards? It's definitely not because I'm not getting booked because I'm that bitch. My phone rings any event that goes down. Anytime. All the time. Why are you not on Watch the Throne? It's because the only battle that the fans wanted to see was me versus Jazz. And she doesn't want to do it. Now, she brought up to me, she hit me up and said, yo, Fit, I want to battle on a volume card. Why? That's my only question. Why? Why not do Wash It Throne? That's a better card to do what we're supposed to do for the crown, for the throne. For me, it's a better look. But I don't do things when you want to do it. So no, I don't want to do a volume. I don't. I wanted to do Wash It Throne. So now, I do get that Jazz wants to battle on URL and not Queen of the Ring for whatever personal reason she's got. And that's cool. But if you ask me, since Caffeine got involved, it's all the same shit, B. It's the same shit. The only difference is it's an extra logo on the fucking corner. That's it, bro. <laughs> like, it's the same shit, man. It's URL presents Queen of the Ring, Watch the Throne. You know what I mean? So, if she don't want to battle on Queen of the Ring, that's cool. That's her own business. Shout out to Shorty. You know what I mean? Shout out to her. Cool. But I know y'all wanted this battle so bad, but I'm over it, y'all. Now I feel like, yo, let me give y'all what, what y'all deserve with other people. I'm going to battle dudes. Yeah, I'm going to do the next King versus Queens. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to battle with either Nitty, JC. That's the direction I'm thinking in, somebody like that. Um, so let's do that. Any girls that's up and coming and I feel like they fire, let's get it. You know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, I battle all the top tier girls with the exception of 40 bars. Um, so, yeah, let's let's get into that. <clears throat> but now I just got to make this a point as well. You know why I think I'm the best? Not only because I was the one of the first females to ever do this, right? Let's just talk about that. So when it comes to being a vet, I'm a vet. That's a fact, right? Cool. Why I'm top tier? It's because I done battled every girl who they said was top tier and, 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 and met, met them with that pen. And my pen is legit. And I fucked bitches up left and right. Next. I can make music. <laughs> A lot of these girls don't make music. And cool. If you feel like you don't need to make music to be, like, great, cool. I'm not talking about a freestyle off of somebody's beat that you took their flow and changed the words. No. I can make real tracks, like, on my own. Like, produce an actual record. Not only that, and correct me if I'm wrong, I was the first female battle rapper to get into this podcast shit and be super fucking good at it. I could be wrong. Am I wrong? Let me think of the female rappers who have podcasts. I know 40 has one, right? But I, I was I, I did mine before her. But shout out to hers. I like it. I was on there. Love it. Um Jazz is on caffeine with Sue Surf. Yeah, did that before her. Did that before her. 
Um, I would say Boss Chick Rain. Boss Chick Rain is the first female battle rapper that was rapping and got into media. So shout out to Boss Chick Rain. But I am on the best podcast in battle rap, in hip hop, period. And that's my expert opinion. And the shit is fire. I have my own podcast, My Dumb Advice. That's fire. Come on. It's like I'm hitting all different lanes of this shit and I'm killing it. It's nothing that I get into that I don't fucking kill. Y'all gotta respect my work ethic if not nothing else. You understand? I ain't never been sunned or, 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 or bitched up in this shit. And I also never had the upper hand for somebody else. Now, mind you, so, like we forget too that uh, 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 for me or my perspective, a big reason why Jazz was like lit was because of Norbs. When Norbs was managing her and he was part of URL, he was pushing the shit out that girl. Now she don't fuck with him for whatever reason, but he was pushing her hard, right? Had her, had her in his arms. Now me, I feel like I get a lot of flack just for being associated with Cortez. Because niggas, Cortez is probably one of the most hated on dudes in battle rap. Hated, underrated, all that. And my man put in work and he been putting in work. Now, some people, when I got into this game, straight didn't like me just because they didn't like Cortez. I inherited that shit. And guess what? That shit ain't stopped me. I'm still that bitch. Still that bitch. Come on. Give it up, ladies, man. Shout out the back. Ken and 973. What up? Thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate you, yo, for real. It, it takes a lot to, you know, salute. I know you work hard for your bread. I appreciate it. You have beaten the best point blank, period. They don't want no smoke. I agree. They don't want no smoke. No smoke. Tina, baby, I see you. Thanks for the donation, beloved. Beloved. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. There's 114 people in here. Only 68 likes, man. It take about two seconds to hit the like button. Yo, show love, man. It's the Brooklyn way. It is the Brooklyn way. For real. All right. Let me read some comments and then we get right back into this shit. All right. What's <laughs> that? Pull up on Jazz in an event and challenge her in front of Battle Rap Media. <laughs> nah, man. I ain't trying to ambush the chick. Because if somebody ambushed me, I'm just punching her. Cause I ain't gonna sit here and freestyle with you. I'll just knock you out. Never been daughtered. <laughs> you respect your work. I think you should battle Shuni. You know, shout out to Shuni. I actually did battle Shuni in a movie. Let's talk about that for a second. I was just in a movie, a motion picture, boy. I was just in a movie. It's on Netflix. It's called the Forty Year Old Version. Shout out to Rada Blank. I was just in a movie. Shout out to Queen of the Ring. So when anybody watches that movie and they think of Queen of the Ring and they think of hip hop, they think in a fit, man. I put on. Think in a fit. All those rhymes was written right before. Right before. Like, right, right before. Come on, man. Come on, man. That Jose Luciano, word up, Hudson. Two, three, Misfit, love you, love you too, man. <laughs> Amos said, is your wifey always that busy? <laughs> man, she always working, man. She's a certified baker. She be baking all the fire cakes, man. I last like sweet cakes on Instagram. She gets your shit done real nice. Shout out to Bush Chick Rain, yes. And fit, you won that thing on MTV and was, yo, let's talk about that. I've been on MTV and I got, I got little Kim, little Kim to say I was the greatest. She said, Brooklyn spit crazy. We even spoke after the, the whole event. She was letting me know like, sis, 
you're, you're bananas. Lil' Kim respect the flow. It's about time y'all do it. It's about time y'all do it. Who's the first dude you want to go against? To me, yo, to be honest, it really don't matter. As long as they, they a top tier dude, I'm not really going to get no like, bootleg guy. <laughs> right? Miss Feet battling on 14th. I think, uh, Don Philly, I think you missed the whole blog. If you just tuned in, uh, somebody fill them in, man. Somebody fill them in. Uh, let's see where we at in the map. Red Rock, biggest fan. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. If you want to get technical, you're the king of female battle rap. Movies, podcasts, and battles. That's exactly what my point of this blog is. It's to say, yo, I am what? An example of taking this battle rap shit and making it work for you does. And making it work for you. Like, I didn't come in, oh, yes, Sugar Cube Accessories. I was looking for your Instagram, huh? So, yo, shout out to Sugar Cube Accessories. She is the person who made this crown. I've been getting so many compliments on the crown. Hit her up and make sure y'all get you a crown. Sis, you got to send me my crown. I need a gold one and a red one. I need a new joint. Uh, but, yeah, Sugar Q, I, I couldn't find your Instagram, yo. But thank you, beloved. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> it came with my teeth hard. L let me adjust that, too, right? People be coming for me. Like, yo, fit, fix your teeth. Fit. Yo, I like myself. And it's sad that the first thing that a person wants to do is alter themselves in some shape or form. As if, like, this has nothing to do with the health of my teeth. Now, I get if my teeth was fucking decayed and rotten and fucking cavities. No. My shit's straight, man. My shit healthy. I like my chip tooth, and I don't want to fix it. I don't. I like it. It's part of me now. So fuck off and suck a dick, my guy. Appreciate that. It's like girls be getting boob jobs. Shout out to y'all, ass jobs. And that's okay because whatever makes you feel like your best self, that's cool. But if somebody tells you, yo, man, you need to get a boob job, they ain't shit because you, you don't have to alter yourself to be beautiful. You don't have to alter yourself to feel like your best self. And anybody who feels like you have to do that, I feel bad for you, man. I feel real bad for you, bro. But my Wife is bad as fuck. I get money. I got a beautiful duplex in New York City. Suck my dick, man. Salute to my dumb advice and Mike's with opinion. Yo, salute, for real. Shout out to Math Hoffa. Shout out to Knowledge and Space. I love my team, man. We've been putting in so much work. We just came from Detroit to take MEO on the road, man. Ain't no podcast doing that, man. Ain't no podcast going city to city interviewing the greats. We just went to Detroit and we interviewed Marv One, Quest McCody, um, Miles, Young Miles. Yo, crazy. Fit versus ill will. It was nice, man. Would you battle on RBE? Depends, man. Everything depends. But I, I like ARP as a person. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. I think he's smart. He's educated, and I appreciate that. Right? So, Mr. versus Cassidy. Oh, fuck up, Cassidy. Cassidy don't want to know what with me. He said, don't say I didn't give this idea that she should battle T-Rex. That's over a million views. You know what? 
Kings versus Queens, give me fucking Rex. Give me one of them dudes. Give me Rex. I want Rex. I want Lux. I want Mook. Because that's the level I feel like I'm on. Vet paved the way for a lot of these hoes. Give me one of them guys. Give me one of them guys. I want to get smoked. I want somebody to try to smoke me. Who's next on the Legends Only? You know, I actually told Math to get me versus Young and May on Legends Only. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We put it in the offer. Now let's see what sis want to do. Now, if Young and May, if you're watching this, let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Fit versus Reed. Hmm. Yeah, see, I like that. Yeah, g- give me give me the guys I should go up against because that's what's going to happen. That's, that's going to be the next time you see me. That's what's going to happen. The Choking Charlie Challenge. Man, if y'all didn't tune in to what me and Matt just did, y'all bugging. It was so dope, and it was so random, too. That's why it's even more fire. Um, So me and, me and Matt from Detroit, and we came across, like, this art, like, Damn, I, I already forgot Heisenberg or Heisenberg. I already forgot what it was called, but it's in Detroit. And basically, it's an area where they make art from, like, trash and, like, garbage in the street. And it's so dope. I thought it was so cool. Um, and me and Math, we was just, like, we should just do a freestyle and call it the Choking Charlie freestyle. Because, you know, when, when Charlie Clips starts to choke, he just starts to freestyle about things around him and his surroundings. So it was so dope. We started the shit like, <clears throat> and we just started freestyling. And yo, it was an actual freestyle. Like we actually just freestyled. So shout out to Matt Hoffer for that, man. It was so dope. Um, I, he 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 challenged me right there on the spot, and I had to uh, accept the challenge because it was so dope. You know what I mean? Um, Heidelberg. Heidelberg. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Don Philly says, Miss Fit, you are the battle rap version of Cortez. What happened to him? Um, I think you're a little weird because Cortez is a battle rap. <laughs> so how am I the battle rap version of him? Come on, get it together, Papa. You gonna come, come with it. Come with it. I'm here, I'm ready. I'm rebuttal ready. You look like vague in the in the in the picture, so you confusing me too. If you ain't leaving donations, um, Don Philly, get out the chat, man. Yeah, battle uh T Rex misfit. Watch how bigger you will grow. Now nah, I'm I'm a battle T Rex. I'm gonna call him out. T Rex, what's up? What's up, T Rex? And I want the T Rex that throws his head. I want that. I want that. Fit and Vixen versus Daylight and B Dot. Ooh, they like bananas. <laughs> Ill will, hell no. <laughs> All right. Let's see, they want to drop on the Patreon. Does she even read the chat? As I'm reading the chat, does she even read the chat? It's hilarious. Uh, Brand New Bag is another favorite mixtape of mine that she released. Thank you, Steven. Gregory Smith. <laughs> Gap in the middle faded. Mm, I don't get it. T-Rex Misfit Fire. Do a char- uh I'm biased. What up, my guy? Do a Charlie Clips challenge around the room. Go. <laughs> you can't pay me, son. Chill. I did one. I challenged the entire world, and people were slowed up on that. Take Lady Luck if she beat Hustle. Not a bad chat, not a bad, not a bad thing. I swear, <laughs> I keep reading in. Um, uh, you ever see you and Math doing a two on two, or are you sticking with Cortez? No, I would definitely do a two on two with Math. I think um, we've grown a lot closer since we've done the show, and I feel like, you know, before I just felt like I would never do a two on two unless it's my bro, but I feel like Math is my bro too, so I would definitely do a two on two with Math. You know what I mean? For sure. You ain't even Brooklyn. Wow. This guy, Victor Ed, 
what are you? I don't know what you are. You look like a fucking idiot. And if I'm, if I'm not Brooklyn, motherfucker, who is? I don't put, put in work in these streets. Ask about me, my guy. Don't get fucking slapped. Dude. Ever disrespect me like that. I ain't Brooklyn. You stupid. You stupid. I don't mean money in these streets. I don't mean bitches cry in these streets. You stupid. I can't deal with these fucking birds. Fit, would you battle easy to block captain? Shout out to Easy to Block Captain, but I'm Mr. versus T Rex. All right, I'm seeing a lot. Let's get it. Let's get it, Rex. All right. You and Younger Maybe will be fire. All right. All right. All right. Cool gets was getting blocked. Put you in timeout. There you go. All right. Thank you, Jose. Shout out to you. I would love to see Fit versus Eminem. <laughs> Yikes. Sheesh. Sheesh. You want me to get the fuck up out of here, huh? They're like, yo, Fit, we hate you. We want you gone. Battle end. <laughs> hit the like button in the chat, y'all. Hit the like button. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hi, right, Glenn. All right. Fit versus luck. All right. Averb, Arsenal, Surf, DNA. All right, cool. All right. I, I like I, I like I like all the suggestions. Alex, shout out to Alex on the donation, man. Appreciate the love so much. Every cent counts. Every cent counts. Do 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 do. Say put using in timeout. Let's let's put Don Philly in timeout. He doing too much. Put his ass in timeout. You know what's crazy? It's never like sexy dudes that be coming at me. It be the ugly ones. All the pretty guys like me. And all the pretty girls like me. But it be the ugly ones that be mad at me. I don't know why. I think it's because they feel ugly on the inside. I think it's something to do with that, man. I, I think so. I'm not ducking T-Top smoke. I would battle T-Top. I would battle T-Top. Um, I got plans, though, right? Um, I love battle rap. It's it's uh, how I build my name. I, I love the culture. I'm here for the culture. But for my brand, you have to understand my brand is so much bigger than just battle rap. My brand is misfit. My brand is king quality. I have merchandise, um, you know, podcasts. I'm, I'm really passionate about the podcast right now, guys. Like I'm super, super passionate about it. So no, yes, I love the culture. I do want to continue to battle, but at the moment, I, at the moment, I want to give y'all content. You know what I mean? More content, and that means different things that you've never seen before. I have some things in the work that is literally gonna blow you guys' mind. Pause. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's gonna blow your mind. Um, but you know, I, I really love everybody in the chat showing me love. I appreciate that a thousand percent. <laughs> uh, if you don't know. Just know I have memberships available to subscribe where you can talk to me personally um, on my phone and ask me my dumb advice on anything. But we're going to take it up a level. So I used to communicate with the fans through text. Now we're upping it up and we're going to do a video call. So if you want a video chat with me personally and ask me any question you like, make sure you subscribe to the memberships um, and get that that um backstage or meet and, get the meet and greet and that'll give you access to to chat live with me if you prefer not to chat live you can continue to text no problem but that option is now available to my meet and greet members man and it means a lot man it means a lot to me all right um anybody want the clothes all the new merch that i've been wearing recently and if you look at my instagram miss.fit 
M-S-D-O-T-F-R-T. You can see the new King quality design. If you want those, those are only strictly for pre-order um, because the quality is just too good to mass produce. I want to make one of one pieces where no piece will be the same. I will make something slightly different so they can be collector's items down the line. And if you have one of those pieces, hopefully in the future, I do well enough for it to be worth for you, right? Um, so thank you so much for that. But if you want any other merch, I have everything on Teesprings. It's available on YouTube, so you can just hit uh, all the merchandise that you see beside the YouTube and the YouTube store, right? Modified Z1, um, yeah, modified. Shout out to you, man, with the donation. Again, every cent counts um, and everything counts towards me building more content and, 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 and vibing with y'all more on, on a personal level. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up by answering the last questions. So if you drop a donation, I'll answer the question. Um, unbiased, if you're still in here, I remember you asked a question, but I missed it. So if you're still in the chat, um, drop the question, I'll answer it. Um, even if you donate a dollar, um, you know, drop a donation and I'll answer your question. If you want to join the memberships on a desktop, there should be a button that says join. Uh, and I, I believe you have to join through a desktop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I also have a link that you can use on your phone to join, if that helps. Um, uh, shout out to Sugar Cube Accessories on the crown again. Thank you so much. Um, got some other join for y'all, too. When are you been the God? I like how original you are. Love the content. What's your email? Thanks, Steve. All uh, right, Kenny, man. Appreciate you, bro. That's the third donation. Super dope. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you and Young M.A. should do a track together. You know, I think it would be an epic track. I think because we have a lot of the same perspectives on things. I like her style. I'm not going to front. She got the swaggy. And I think we're nothing alike, which is great for a record, right? We, we can kind of like fill each other's void, if that makes sense. I think, you know... Some people don't like media or would rather me just battle rap. I just want to say this. I think media needs us, right? I think battle rap media needs people like myself, Math Hoffa, uh, you know, even people like Surf. Because the same way, and unlike ESPN, you got the Shags, you know, you got the, 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 old players coming into media because they're speaking from experience and they're speaking from, they can give you a whole different perspective than somebody who's just hired to do media. And I think we have that same effect, right? We can interview people and give them the ultimate experience because we know how we wanted to feel during that interview. You understand? That's why when math books people out of state, he makes sure they fly is good, good hotel, when they come on the show, we ask what your preference of drink is. We get, get them their personal drink and, and gives them a great experience because we know what we want to experience. But also, we know how to comment on situations and we know how to look at battles because we battle rap ourselves. So you need people like us. So understand that before you hate on the platforms we're providing to you. You need that. It needs balance. You can't just have trolls that stay behind a keyboard and just want to talk shit and talk about all the negative things in battle rap. Come on. Come on. I believe so. Two media does need y'all, except Surf, though. He only talked and been talking only. Well, yeah, I mean, 
I don't know, a surfer was the first person that come to mind, but definitely people like myself, Math Hoffa. You, you need people like us, you know what I'm saying? Would you ever do another battle with your hair loose? <laughs> I leave my hair loose all the time. But to be honest, that's more of a winter look. Because in the summer, it just be too hot to blow dry your hair. Like right now, I'm in my crib. I'm laid back, so I got my shit in the bun. And I ain't really trying to do shit with it right now. But my hair is usually straight in the wintertime. So you will see Blowout Mommy back in effect shortly. All right. Um... Please do another video on credit. Well, if you haven't tuned into that, make sure you tune into it. It's on my channel. Um, I talk all about credit and how to build your credit or how you fix your credit. And it's a shame because that video does not get enough views. I literally break down how you can have good credit. And people would rather see me pop shit than give you game. Hey, I get it. Because I like a spicy conversation myself. But... You need balance, y'all. You need balance. Find that balance. Find that balance. You think you'll ever start a podcast? I do have a podcast, Honey Bunches of Oats. It's called My Dumb Advice. This is what you're listening to right now. My Dumb Advice. Um, I do have the audio available as well. The audio's on Spotify, uh, Anchor, anywhere you can hear podcasts, the audio is on there. So if you can't watch, you can always pick up the audio. Mm -hmm. Cool. Bree887, thank you so much. Thanks for the donation. Appreciate the love. Thank you, thank you. Hold it down. Show love, y'all. Now, everybody who's in the chat, the question is, do you have caffeine? And if your answer is yes, go right now, follow me, let me know what y'all want to see on Caffeine. What kind of content y'all want to see? What do y'all enjoy the most? How y'all want to turn up? The bag video needs more views. I agree. I agree. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Thank you for respecting what I do. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now, if you ever want to show love, if you ever want to um, contribute to what we got going on, you can always cash at me at msdotfrt um, and and you know leave a comment so I know who it's from. If you are an artist, if you have a brand, just if you're trying to promote yourself, feel free to send me a product on meopromo at gmail.com. Now, basically, on my expert opinion, we have a promotion program where you send us your material, you, you pay a small fee, and we promote you on the show. Now, the show has over 100,000 subscribers. Um, we get so much love. We get industry artists that are watching us. Come on. But we got people like Eminem watching our show. You know, uh, Nori is is a huge fan of our show. And these are people with huge p platforms that you could be noticed by um, just by putting your, your brand on our show. So if you're serious about your craft and you want promotion, just email meopromo at gmail.com. Uh, we've helped so many people get their brand out there. And, and people who has, has actually emailed me personally and said, yo, just by y'all posting it, by posting my video, my views jumped dramatically. Their subscribers jumped dramatically. Um, even products, right? Um, math promos, beard products. Like, we just trying to give back. Right, we're, we're 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 trying to emulate that success, right? It's like, all right, cool. If we're having success doing what we're doing, then we can help bring you success as well. So I'll put it in the chat just in case y'all want to copy and paste it. So it's meopromo at gmail dot com. It's in the chat. Uh, 
right. More cre- more recaps would be cool. I like your point of view. All right, I could definitely do that. I could definitely do that. So I could actually start with giving a recap of what I just saw, which I did though. Uh, what we just saw with Tay Rock and Mook. Um, so I'll put that out shortly. And the next recap you will see most likely is Washington. Thank you, Prolific. I appreciate you. Appreciate it too. Appreciate the love. Shout out to the wife for re-upping me on these Red Bulls that I know are bad for me. But I have long days, long days, even longer nights. Oh, yeah. If you want to follow me on Caffeine, it's M-S-D-O-T-F-I-T. If you want to follow me on anything, it's Miss Dot Fit, always. M-S-D-O-T-F-I-T. On anything, literally. I never change it because that's part of branding. You don't want to be on Twitter with one name, Instagram with another name, YouTube with another name. You always want, that's a, some, a little game for people who want to build their brand. Keep it the same, man. Keep it the same. All right. But again, I want to thank everyone in the chat that supported the chat. I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Um, and big shout out to all the female rappers, man. All of them. Even the ones that don't like me. Even the ones that I don't like. Shout out to y'all, man. Because we, 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 we deal with more in, 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 in life. And we are underestimated. At the end of the day, we get the job done. So, Misfit, Murder Have Gang, appreciate the love. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe now because it's going to be super, super spicy. If you, um, if you're not subscribed to the Caffeine channel, subscribe now because we're going to be going live every week, every week, every Wednesday and every Sunday. URL 2K, man. I love me some URL 2K, man. Shout out to you. You always make my graphics look fire, man. Salute King. Need you on one of these cards versus a guy like Romnidio Calico. Ooh, Calico. Thanks for the donation, bro, for real. It's highly appreciated. Highly appreciated. All right. Um, actually, I will be seeing y'all live tomorrow on Caffeine. So don't forget to log into Caffeine, catch me around 8.39-ish. So if you up, you're around the town, tune in to um, Caffeine. We're going to be going over a lot. Appreciate you. And if you want to donate while we off the chat, cash at Miss.Fit, M-S-D-O-T-F-I-T. Love, man. Appreciate y'all.